Hello everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to do a firmware update. Uh, the very first thing you want to make sure before even proceeding is actually to make sure that your camera's battery is fully charged. Because if it's not, it's not going to work, it's not going to update, it's going to give you an error message. Once you make sure that it is fully charged, then on the camera you press menu. And you go to the setup menu, which is the icon that looks like a range. And then you go to firmware version, which is usually the last option on the setup menu. So we're going to go down and you have a firmware version. You say OK. And you'll see in mine it's going to say C2.20 LF1.00. So C is actually the firmware version itself. So mine is 2.20. I'm using a Z6, so I already know it's not the latest firmware. Uh, we're going to update it soon. And LF is actually your lens distortion data. That you can update it as it comes, uh, but lens distortion data updates are not as frequent as firmware versions. So once you know what your firmware version is on your camera, you'll go to NikonUSA.com, go to the very bottom of the page where you'll see firmware, software and firmware updates. So you're going to click on it. It'll take you to the Nikon's download center and you're going to look up the product name that you have. In my instance, I have a Z6. So I'm going to look up Z6 and do search. Um, if you're looking for a manual, by the way, this is a great place to actually obtain it as well. Uh, you can download it and read it at your own leisure. Uh, and then, but for firmware, you'll just select firmware. And as you can see, Z6 firmware C is 3.00. Uh, remember, mine was 2.20, so I know it's not the latest firmware version. So I'm going to click on view download page. So browser is automatically going to detect if you're using a Mac or Windows. You don't have to select it. And when you see it goes as an arrow down like this, like a V shape, you know that your, browser's, your browser properly selected what operating system you have. Okay, like in my instance, I'm using a Mac. So you go down. After reading the end user license agreement, you accept it and you press download. Okay, so in my instance, I'm using a Mac, like I said, so it's going to be a dot DMG file. If you're using a Windows, it's going to be a dot EXE file. Okay, so you just Double click on it, it's going to open the file. Right, Z6 update, you open that again until you actually see dot, a file that ends with dot bin. The dot bin file is what we're going to transfer to the memory card. So you open your memory card. Okay, you might see two files, a dot CIM and a Nikon folder. When you transfer this .bin file, transfer it directly to the root of the camera. Not in this folder, not in this one either, not in any folders. The only time that you'll actually transfer it into a folder is if you're using a Copix camera, then you would want to transfer the fi file that says firmware, the, the folder that says firmware onto the memory card. If you're using a DSLR or a mirrorless camera, you transfer the .bin file only onto your memory card. And that has to be at the root of your card. If you go to any of those folders, it's not going to see it. Therefore, you will not be able to update it. Okay, so once that's done, you eject the card and you put it back in your um, camera. Go to the setup menu again and press on firmware version. Now you're going to see that it gives you an option to say 
done update delete update files okay we actually want to update this uh, camera so we're going to say update and press ok uh, by the way when you're actually doing a firmware update put the camera down uh, it can be on a uh, desk on your bed uh, but don't touch it when you're going to be pressing update it's just because anything can happen if you move it around too much so uh, in this instance I'm going to press update so it's going to ask me if I want to do a from current which is 2.0 and I want to actually move it to 3.0 uh, I'm going to say yes and we'll let it do its thing Okay, so the update's done. It's gonna say turn off the camera, so I'm gonna turn that off. And I'm gonna turn it back on. So now if I go to menu, and I go to the setup menu, which is the icon that looks like a range, and click firmware version, you'll see now that it tells me it's version 3.00 uh, remember like I said before firmware update or firmware version sorry it's uh, the one that says the letter C as in Charlie that's your firmware version it's going to give you the option again to say to update that's only because your file is still on this memory card uh, or you can just say firmware updates uh, delete firmware update files so then you can say for camera body and just say yes or the easiest and now you will see that it's no longer there uh, or you can actually just do a uh, format memory card which is the first option and then you'll make sure to delete everything on this file if you like this video and uh, want to see more please subscribe to the channel and we'll be able to bring you more videos of some useful features on your camera thank you